Hey, what's up, y'all? Mask King JC here, here to bring y'all movie mayhem. And I've decided that I'm going to make this segment bi-weekly, which means it won't happen once a week. It won't happen uh, once every three weeks. It'll happen once every two weeks. Why? Because I like it that way. And once, I'm not a guy who usually does stuff by a set schedule. But, you know, I think just having, like, I already have another segment that's weekly. You, you already know it, Danny Manga News. If I had this attached onto it, it's going to be too much of, you know, a hassle for me. So, this is this is going to be, you know, once every two weeks. And the first piece of news I want to talk about is, you guys probably haven't heard this, but G.I. Joe Retaliation, the sequel to, you know, G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, which was a very, you know, successful movie. It turns out that it's going to be bumped from its June 29th release date all the way up to March of 2013. Why, why would they do this? I mean, there's only one explanation. It might be because Battleship failed in the box office. I mean, seriously, this is obviously because of Battleship. And they're running scared because, you know, they, hey, this is another Hasbro-based movie, so we got to separate this from Battleship so people won't be, you know, they won't lose faith in Hasbro. But, you know, they said some bullshit about, oh, we just wanted to add 3D. You mean, tell me, it takes you June, February, March. It takes you eight months to add 3D? Get the fuck out of here. And in other news, it turns out that George Lucas is retiring. <laughs> Good. Hopefully this will keep him from messing up his own fucking movies. Star Wars, I'm looking at you. He's not retiring from movies altogether. He's mostly just retiring from, you know, mainstream films. He's going to focus on his own experimental efforts. Mm -hmm. So that's why producer Catherine Kennedy who I never heard of, and you probably never heard of. But it does turn out that she did work on E.T., Poltergeist, The Twilight Zone movie, Indiana Jones, and Temple Dune, and The Gremlins. That's a good roster right there. So Catherine's going to be taking over the reins of Lucasfilm while George Lucas focuses on, you know, trying to get his shit together. And right now, currently, the previous stars of Kick-Ass are right now in negotiations to... To star in Kick-Ass 2, which I am very excited for because Kick-Ass is one of my favorite movies, so you know, Kick-Ass. Yeah, so Aaron Johnston, Chloe Moretz, and Christopher Mintz Plasti are all in negotiations, so that definitely means they're going to come back, hopefully. It turns out that Independence Day is going to be in 3D. I don't even want to get started on my 3D rant, I'm just, no. Independence Day? Really? No. No! So if you want to see Independence Day 3D, it's going to be out July July 3rd, 2013. And Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which is, you know, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes sequel, is going to be May 23rd, 2014. X-Men First Class 2 will be July 18th, 2014. And The Secret Life of Walter Milty, what the fuck, is going to be coming out in 2015 along with Walk with Dinosaurs, and a whole bunch of other movies that nobody cares about. So yeah, that has been Movie Mayhem for uh, whatever week this is. It's been Master King JC. Keep on keeping on. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.